Hey everybody, time for another video blog. So this week, uh, we are kind of thinking back to the life of my mom. Yesterday I wrote about um, my dad and some of his reflections um, on his time since my mom passed last summer, but today I've been thinking a lot more uh, about her particularly thinking about her uh, in terms of the Global Leadership Summit, which is kind of an odd pairing, but let me explain. If you know the Global Leadership Summit, uh, two days of uh, speakers, leaders from churches, leaders from business, uh, leaders from around the world coming to teach people about leadership. Uh, I've been able to go the last number of years due to a very generous gift from uh, a friend in our congregation. And every year that I've gone, um, I've sat through the fire hose of information and, and inspiration that they bring. It's a wonderful event, and I strongly recommend it for uh, any of us. But there's an interesting piece to it. Um, it, it maybe it doesn't say, but it implies the, Le the Global Leadership Summit throughout its time that every person needs to be a leader. Everyone needs to be an upfront person. Everybody needs to have all of this knowledge and information, and then they can really lead and get their organizations growing, and it's amazing. Under that, kind of as a subcontext, under that particular context is the idea that if you're not doing that, if you're not uh, a big, vivacious, upfront kind of leader, then you're just somehow a little less. That's an assumption by people, not by any means what the Global Leadership Summit is trying to say. But in thinking about it, we've been reflecting a lot on my mom because that is absolutely not her. Mom was not a big, vivacious leader. In fact, she absolutely hated being in front of people. She played the piano beautifully, but wouldn't do it in public unless she absolutely had to. But mom was a leader nonetheless. See, my mom was able to lead from behind. She was able to lead through her quiet presence. We have a family of leaders. My sister is a producer and director of, of uh, musicals and plays. I'm a pastor of church. My dad was a teacher, all of us up front. But mom never wanted to be there. I always thought it was perhaps some kind of weakness of hers. But in reflecting and reading what other people said about her in their notes and cards and reflections, it's been amazing to see that she led people left and right. She led constantly. And she did it quietly from behind. I think the verse for me, the set of verses that really reflect mom and her leadership style come from Philippians 2, one of the more famous passages. It was a hymn that was probably famous at the time that Paul wrote it out. But it says this, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset of Jesus Christ, who being in very nature God, didn't consider equality with God something to be used for his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place, gave him the name that is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. It's a beautiful poem or hymn or passage. And I think that was the attitude that my mom carried with her throughout her life. That attitude of humble leadership. She taught Sunday school to kids. She sang in the choir. She was an incredible hostess. And in all of that, she did it humbly. She never needed praise from people. She never needed the applause. She never wanted to be up front and receive that. So as I ponder mom and think about the Global Leadership Summit and think about this verse, a few questions for you to ponder today. Do you need the acclaim of others to know that you're doing well? Or are you okay leading from behind? 
Are you leading? Even if it is from behind? Because as the Global Leadership Summit would tell us, everyone has influence and everyone leads. I want to encourage you to consider that. Consider the humility it takes to lead from behind. And if that's not your personality style, then that's fine. But I want you to find those people that are doing that. Just give them a, a little bit of a hug. Give them a little bit of a, uh, an encouragement that they are seen and noticed. All right. Hopefully we'll be back with another one of these later on. But if not, then we will simply see you Sunday morning for our worship service. Join us 1030 on Sunday morning at www.libcov.org.